Hey all here at OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the 3D hologram LED fan. This thing is incredibly cool, but it's primarily aimed at advertisers. So think of smaller stores as well as malls that may want to display images as well as graphics to attract customers to visit the store. Of course, you can also pick it up as a consumer, just using it as a decor or a conversation starter in the back of a room. Maybe you can leave it on or turn it on when someone comes to visit. Definitely a very interesting piece of tech, and this is uh, based on a concept that we've actually seen before, which is fans that have an LED light strip and that produces images because of the persistence of motion. Our eyes is able to see a complete image. It retails for about $300, so it's definitely not cheap, but it could be worthwhile considering you're getting this 3D hologram display that again you can very easily customize to attract people to visit. User manual, which is documented uh, without too many details, just tell you a few precautions including the arm of the LED, so to leave enough space on the wall when you want to mount it, and uh, what types of memory cards and formats uh, in terms of the video is supported. The pixel resolution 450 by 224 doesn't seem high at all, but that's simply because it's using a row of LEDs and the actual effect seems much better than you'd think looking at the PPI. It's using LEDs which means it's very energy efficient and can also last up to 50,000 hours turned on, so that's uh, pretty good in terms of longevity. You also have access to the mounting bracket which is made out of aluminum along with the screws and there's also a micro SD card reader that you get. Then there's just the LED fan along with the adapter for power which can be removed and a small remote control. It uses a coin based battery as opposed to being rechargeable which is one con. Uh, it allows you to more easily turn the unit on or off depending on when it's plugged into power. However, it doesn't give you the ability to switch back and forth between images or videos stored onto the memory cards. Taking a closer look at the hardware, the fan is made entirely out of plastic, so it doesn't feel outstanding or super premium in terms of build, but it's functional. Uh, and because they're going for a very high-tech effect of it producing a hologram so it's transparent, you can still see in the background, things like that, obviously there's no guards. Uh, like on a typical fan, there will be kind of guards that shields the fan so that someone doesn't get hurt if they accidentally touch it, which is why it's important that you should mount this on a wall that's high enough so that customers don't just reach their arms in and that could pr produce quite a bit of damage even though the blades themselves aren't sharp. Uh, it's still spinning at a pretty fast uh, speed so that's a safety precaution to keep in mind. Plus, there's also a few ventilation grills on the sides that prevents it from overheating. When it's spinning on the motor the fan itself does produce a little bit of noise so it's not completely silent. Loudness is about the same as a gaming computer or a LED projector that has a small fan in the background. It's about the same level of noise. You definitely get used to it and it's not a huge deal. Uh, but it's something to really quickly point out. And on the edge here, this is where the micro SD card is inserted. It comes with a free micro SD card out of the box. It also supports cards up to 32 gigabytes. Something I'm not a huge fan of is the cable doesn't have a groove to sit into really nicely. So the only elegant solution is mounting it on a wall. If you just sit it flat on a surface or onto a desk on the ground, you can see how this is elevated so there's a bump compared to the rest of the base. And as a result, it doesn't sit flat and it kind of uh, teeters back and forth, especially as the fan is moving. It definitely doesn't make the most elegant solution if you are just putting it on, let's say, a, a tabletop. Starting the fan is easy. It's almost too easy. All you need to do is plug in the power supply and immediately it turns on. There's no additional safety switch on the side that you have to press to uh, physically turn it on. Alright, so next let's launch into a quick demo of what it looks like with both the lights on and the lights off.
couple remarks about the video sample. You may have noticed that the spinning motion was evident in some of the footage. That's purely because of the camera. You can't actually see that in person. The same thing goes when you try to film computer screens. Oftentimes the refresh rate uh, combined with the camera lens will capture you know, that flickering pattern. Overall, I also found the LED lights to be sufficiently bright, so even if there's some background light in the room, you can still make out the images without any problems. That's kind of important because if you're in a mall or in a store, you are probably not going to be in a completely dark environment, and luckily the effect is still rather mesmerizing. Obviously when the lights are completely off, it becomes even more apparent, but uh, with the lights on, you can still make out objects behind it, which it creates that even more convincing transparent display, holographic display effect that I think that they were going for when designing it, which is, again, pretty clever. Now, I do wish, again, there was a way to program it so you can cycle between images. If you look at the image from behind, it actually is completely transparent. In other words, you can only see the 3D hologram when you're looking at it pretty much of straight on or but from my perspective, looking at you, looking at the camera, it's actually completely crystal clear. I can still see everything without any problems. Some final remarks. Obviously, I don't have a store, so I find the image size to be perfectly sufficient. But for some larger, let's say, stores or malls, they may want a larger display. However, it's really just a matter of adding more LEDs and making that diameter slightly wider. It really shouldn't be too big of a problem, you know, from a design perspective. And hopefully we'll be seeing some larger versions as well uh, for even bigger commercial use, which would be pretty cool. It still kind of depends on the type of image that you're viewing. If you just throw a static 2D image at it, such as a person's face, it's not going to look very 3D by default. However, if you do a GIF uh, or a video of a person's face rotating, then that's going to seem a lot more three-dimensional. But for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the LED Hologram Fan.